Hello and welcome to the latest episode of The Impact Room with Zoff Magka, the Head of Operational Resource Planning at Legal in General. Zoff, thanks for doing this and pleased to meet you. How, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks, mate. And thanks for the opportunity to share my story. Uh, not, not a problem, not a problem. Yeah, great, thanks. So, um, obviously, first question, we always start with a bit of a, a fun question to find out more about yourself and a bit more. So, Zoff, what is your favourite travel destination and why? But I enjoy traveling and I normally yeah. get away at least once a month. Um, my favorite destination is is definitely Agadir um, in Morocco. And I've yeah. been a lot of times, approximately 50 times. So wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably my second home. And it's a great place. I really enjoy that because it's very relaxing. The temperature's great. I mean, even in winter, you know, you get 20, 25 degrees. I enjoy talking to people there. They're very relaxed. And it's just a great place to just refresh and reset yourself that's it and um yeah no very so i've been there once myself and i know obviously uh it's, it's very famous for the argonaut so it keeps keeps your hair good as well because i'm losing mine so um yeah, maybe i should go back for some argonaut <laughs> but yeah so um no brilliant stuff great stuff so obviously yeah Zoff, if it'd be great to, to learn a little bit more about yourself really and obviously just if you wouldn't mind doing a quick elevator pitch just a couple of sentences or so just to introduce yourself and who you are and where you come from really Absolutely. So, yeah, so uh, so my background for the past 26 years has been planning, operational planning. Um, I'm very much um, someone who likes to see people develop and grow. So my focus, you know, throughout the past 26 years has been to learn the technical aspect, but also understanding the human side and the behavioral side and mm. really looking at those two, you know, the behavioral, the human side and, and, max, and matching it with the technical uh, kind of capabilities in the team. I, I feel that, you know, to have a really strong team, You've got to really invest time in, in growing the team culture, which I think mm. is, is number one kind of um, factor that will out determine the outcome or successes of a team. Yeah, no, brilliant. Sir. Okay, fine. So, um, as as you look at the, the resource planning and insight space and stuff, where what do you see has kind of been the biggest opportunity over the next kind of three to five years and beyond? Really, um, where do you see the, the biggest opportunity coming from? I think automation, definitely. I think but, mm. but assisted automation. Um, there's a lot of conversations around AI and machine learning. Um, there's a lot of you know, excitement and, and noise around chat GP, you know, automated AI and chat GP yeah. and all those kind of all those kind of tools. Um, it is definitely exciting. Um, I think it's also scary for some people as well. Um, mm. if you don't have what the possibility is, it can be scary, but it's you know. I would I would recommend curiosity. You know, be curious, try things, uh, and see how they would work out for you. So there's, there is a lot of uh, opportunities around automation. Um, there's a lot of opportunities around AI and machine learning, but also there's a lot of opportunities around creative thinking. So mm -hmm. that's something we should as well. Not just like all the high tech stuff with AI and machine learning. You know, some basic skills around creativity, critical thinking are very very important as well. No, great stuff. Fine. Um, no, brilliant stuff. Um, that is it is really interesting. If I say there's all this technology every 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 day, something new seems to be coming on. I mean, you know, Chat GPT this time last year, I don't think anyone even knew what it meant, and now everyone's an expert on it, which is which is always yeah. interesting. But yeah, so no, fine. So um, and obviously, you know, you've you've had a, a great career yourself so far, and I'm sure it'll continue on progressing and stuff. So, but. You know, what one piece of advice would you give someone who wanting to progress their career and, and become a senior leader within the, the planning and insight space? Yeah, absolutely. I, I would say don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try things. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, don't be afraid to ask questions. I think it, a lot of people um, I find it difficult to progress because they're afraid to take that step. Don't be afraid. Go for it. You know, um, it's not always going to work out, but the learning you'll get from failing or not doing it correctly will make you stronger and will make you better yeah no brilliant stuff um yeah no, it's a it's a great point about you know don't be afraid just to try stuff and, and see how it works you know as you say you you learn from your failures but you know it's it is a, a really interesting point fine so obviously we've had some real good conversations recently around kind of trends in the planning space and obviously we've you've touched on the the ai and the automation stuff but what other thoughts you have on kind of, and observations you have on trends in, in planning and stuff that you're seeing happening at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Um, so over the past three years, there has been a, quite a shift in the kind of skills um, 
the transferable skills we need to look at in planning. So if you look at five years ago, a lot of the skills were around pulling information, um, presenting information, sorting information, and doing initial analysis. What I'm now seeing is over the next three to five years, what I expect is what we just talked about, AI and machine learning, will we'll kind of make it much more easier for us to look at data and classify data. So the focus mm. will shift on how we use that data, how we present that data, looking at predictive models rather than reactive models, looking at the creative thinking, you know, so taking yeah. all the hard work out of producing data, producing reports, uh, and, and focusing more on the end product, you know, consultative approach, more conversations, more looking at opportunities. Yeah, no, great stuff. And obviously looking back at your career, as I say, obviously you, you started off, um, you know, I think it was an analyst, wasn't it? You started off as yourself personally. So, you know, looking at back at your um, your career and stuff, what was your biggest career break? And, you know, if there's anyone you want to thank for it or, you know, kind of what what was it that got that career break and, and got you to, to where you are today, really? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, unfortunately, the person who gave me the biggest break has passed away. I'm not with us, Sean Clues. Um, yeah. He was a great inspiration leader for me. He really helped develop my leadership skills as well as my planning skills. And I think without him, I wouldn't be where I am now. So, you know, a big thanks to Sean. No, great stuff. And um, no, I think, you know, it's it's so true, isn't it? I think, you know, what, what we do see a lot of times is, and, you know, I've had this conversation with people recently around, you know, the, the leadership skills actually, you know, it, you have got to, and obviously Sean was a great example of how he brought your strengths out and probably... Mm -hmm helped you understand your weaknesses as well and I think actually that is such a key thing and I think sometimes especially in more technical roles like planning insight roles you we do see that people can be shoehorned into you're a technical person do this and I think actually but but actually you know you when we look around at some of the planners in the, the teams and stuff and some of the people that have been so successful you know actually the, the technical skills are probably some of the weakest in, in the team sometimes you know I mean uh, there's loads of leads I suppose just said that, that my team are a lot cleverer than me so, but but actually it is it's it's understanding as a leader where that key and that strength is in someone and noticing the potential ability and putting your arm around them but also giving them that encouragement to, to get the best out of them it's a no it's a, a really great point and and obviously off I mean obviously it'd just be really interesting to see you know where your inspiration is what what inspires you what you know what do you get out of bed for every morning why why do you want to be as successful as you've been and, and continue being so successful really absolutely I mean a couple of things I mean first and foremost um I, I really enjoy I'm a, me and my wife are foster carers so yeah. that really excites me it really gives us an opportunity to you know help young children give them a safe environment and and we're really proud of what we do there in work it would be seeing individuals grow and mm. become better move on and career progress i'm very much on my philosophy very much i want people to grow both in a personal term but also yeah. in a professional term and if that means they um, have a career progression within the team great within the organization that's fine and you know even if they go outside the organization that's great as well so i think it's always good when you know people progress and and that at this moment in my life that's where my focus in is helping the team grow helping them move on and develop no it's so true um no it's a it's it's a brilliant point you know as i say it's i suppose it's, it's like i said even with the foster children you've had over the years and stuff you know how just knowing that you know, you've given someone that foundation and that development is a spot in their strengths and weaknesses to go look, you know, and, and there'll be there'll be many times throughout your career where you're looking at someone that, that might have even been, you know, reporting into you or whatever that's now above you or whatever or past you in your career. And you go, oh, but, you know, giving someone that that foundation I means like I had a few of life in it. I was a football coach previously and stuff and knowing that, you know, the, the team I give them up under 12 and now under 16, winning leagues and everything, you're like, you could barely kick a couple when you came to me at eight. But knowing you give them that foundation, it is, it is a, a real great kind of a achievement anyway. You know, you don't know where someone will go giving them that guidance. So, no, that, that was brilliant, mate. It's like really good to, to get to know yourself and stuff and learn more about, say, Zoff as a, as a person and Zoff the planner who's, you know, been award winning and everything already. So, yeah, it'd be great. But obviously just one last thing before you go obviously like i mentioned you know we've had numerous conversations over the years i, I don't know if you could share a, a bit of an insight really on to the some of the conversations you've had with myself and, and kind of yeah um just a bit of feedback from myself really absolutely i think the conversations we've had have been very productive i think once you're in an organization you can be in that bubble so i think you know when, when talking to yourself perry uh, and similar people you get a, 
a full awareness of the industry, get an awareness of what's going on, you know, what yeah. sharing best practice, things that have worked, things that haven't. So I think networking, having conversations is very, very important, not just within an organization, but also outside. So I think, you know, certain events that you've held are really great because they really allow people to connect outside of the normal yeah. work. No, brilliant stuff. No, great stuff. No, Luff, it was it was a pleasure meeting yourself and I say obviously sharing your story and hopefully someone takes something out of that. I'm sure they will. Um so so thank you very much for that, mate, and, and stay safe and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Thanks, mate. Take care. Cheers.